everybody, it's Debbie with Scrap for Therapy. I am going to do my best to zoom through this. This is another Christmas journal. Um, it is a hard cover, but also fabric cover. About one and a half inch spine. It measures... I don't know what it measures. Let's check. It measures about five and a half by seven. Um, the cover has a little book plate which says wishing, doily, and let's see if I can capture the 3D elements of the little gingerbread man and lady that match the little gingerbread people that are in the fabric. So, opens up to the where the story begins tag in a glassine bag. <laughs> My brain stopped for a minute. Our air is super smoky because of all the California fires. We're not in the danger zone, but certainly the air is affected. In fact, um, college and school, I teach at the college and have a child in school and both have been canceled yesterday and today. So this is a tag um, decorated fits right in that flip. This journal has 64 pages, so what is that? 128 sides all together, two signatures. This is a calendar. Um, I left it blank for the exception of the month, just in case someone is like me and buys a journal and then doesn't end up using it that year. Envelope, another tag, ledger paper, uh, plenty of room for journaling as usual and or documenting photos. This is a file folder flip. Some printed paper. A combination of stamping and stickers. This says spreading holiday joy and tis the season. Another pocket. The style of this journal, I would say, is definitely more whimsical, whimsical <laughs> with a touch here and there of some nods to tradition, like the Nutcracker Suite in here. Coffee dyed paper, peace, hope, love. It's a blend. There are some white papers, obviously, in here as well as the coffee dyed. There's some sort of little decoration on almost every page. Another tag and a decorated paper clip, which you can see on this side, and some memo paper. Um, always good for those Christmas lists. Coffee dyed paper, another decorated um, decorated paper clip, and a tag with a tag on this side as well. This is the other side of the flip out, and it has fabric. Um, let's see if I can lift that up. Gathered fabric, and then opens up. You can see the sewing and a quote. Some stenciled back of this ledger paper. The envelope again with a journaling card. And then this side has a little pocket with a tag, space for photos and or journaling. This side, front of the next signature, has a fabric flip up, another envelope. Sorry for all the noise, I'm not sure what's going on out there. Hmm. Um, a tag with space for journaling and or photos notes on some ledger. Here we have a little notebook, a couple of fabric papers sewn in. Here we have a tag. Fits in there on a calendar page. And another envelope with paper. Sorry I am going so fast. Um, I've been having storage problems on my phone, which is what I'm filming on right now. So I don't want it to go out on me again. <laughs> Another tuck spot, um, another one of those cardboard tags, and then another tag. This comes off with the paper clip. More journaling space, 
um, I may or may not add something to this page. I think I intended to, and I don't know why I didn't. Maybe it just escaped me. Another card from the Nutcracker Suite, which came, I believe, from Graphic 45 paper pad. More journaling space. The center of this signature, stamped with Christmas. Coffee stained paper, another tag tucked in there. Another page for journaling and or um, tucking things in. Naughty or nice with a tag that tucks right there. And a tag on this side that says Merry Christmas. You can see it's a much more brightly colored kind of whimsical style. This is for photo and or journaling. The little gingerbread people. More tags in the calendar page. The ledger. I love writing on the lines of ledger paper, so I tend to not decorate them. Here is an envelope which I left empty on purpose that time. Some rickrack on the last signature page, and then a pocket and a cardboard uh, insert tag. So there you have it, and ho ho on the back. Hope that you enjoy this. This will be for sale in my Etsy shop, and if you are one of the people who have recently made purchases from my shop, thank you very, very much. Again, I am going to list this, and I might come back with another one. I was in a Christmas mood this last week, so um, thank you all for watching, and I will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.